Forensic teams painstakingly searching Griffith's flat did eventually make a breakthrough. Blood found in the bathroom belonged to Susan Rushworth. It's believed Griffiths killed her using a hammer, the preferred weapon of his idol, Peter Sutcliffe. The fact that the final victim was identified through bloodstain shows how meticulously these crime scenes are dealt with. It would be very easy based on the fact that we knew that somebody had been killed with a crossbow to assume that that blood related to one of those two people. But these cases are examined in such detail that this extra blood spot was identified that came from a third person. On May the 28th, 2010, Griffiths appeared before magistrates. And just when it seemed that he couldn't cause any more suffering to the victims' families, he left the entire courtroom in shock. In Bradford, serial killer Stephen Griffiths had confessed to murdering three women, Susan Rushworth, Shelley Armitage, and Suzanne Blamires. The brutal murder of Suzanne had been captured on CCTV. On the 28th of May 2010, Griffiths was at Bradford Magistrates Court for his arraignment. Even from the dock, the fame-hungry killer continued to torment the family of his victims with his thirst for notoriety. Now, when Stephen Griffiths was brought into the dock, the court clerk says to him, what's your name? Everybody expected him to say Stephen Sean Griffiths. But Griffiths' answer to the simple request completely stunned the courtroom. He describes himself as the crossbow cannibal with a utter contempt for his victims, their families, the justice system, the police, but with a considerable amount of adoration of himself. Of course, this causes a stunned silence in the, uh, in the courtroom. That remains the case for about 30 seconds, and then I think one of the families start weeping, and all the journalists are looking at each other in disbelief, asking each other whether he really did just say that. Well, I think Stephen Griffiths felt the need to, to give himself a brand because uh, I think his crimes were performance crimes. They were crimes that were yeah, enacted for the camera. And, and the fact that he imposed this name on himself rather than the media labelling him the crossbow cannibal is really significant. We have a man who is deeply, deeply narcissistic and sees himself as the centre of the universe and sees nothing else at all.